It was several years ago now when I first bought my first men's shirt and I thought that it was right for me, that it was right for me, but when I got to the till, the shop assistant asked me questions like, was it a present? No, I answered, it was for me. It took her a moment to recover, but she carried on silently. She didn't ask any more questions. The concept of there being more than two genders isn't something we really talk about. I mean, why ask questions about something that we can find out by looking down at our own bodies? Well, actually, if we look at the definition of gender, it actually represents social and cultural differences rather than biological ones. This means that, by definition, gender can be as evolving as a person chooses and as fluid as we might decide, and that gender is a spectrum that we all fall on somewhere. To understand this complicated, perhaps new world of gender identity, it's important to understand the terminology. Cisgender is a person whose sense of personal identity and gender corresponds with their birth sex. This means a person who was assigned male at birth, for example, um, and currently identifies as a man. Transgender, on the other hand, is a person whose sense of personal identity and gender do not correspond with their birth sex. Examples of people like this are Caitlyn Jenner and Laverne Cox, who are names we're very familiar with in the media. And they're both trans women, which means that they were assigned male at birth and currently identify as a woman. A more recent term is trans with an asterisk, and it is absolutely brilliant because it's an umbrella term for all the people who feel like they don't fit the strict binary. It's now possible to describe gender in all these ways, using all these terms, which I know looks a bit intimidating, but it's what feels best for us. The most common words for people who identify as neither male or female are gender non-binary and gender queer. Individuals now have the option to choose to identify as both genders or neither. Within the trans community, pronouns are often key to reducing dysphoria and making a person feel comfortable within themselves. We're all familiar with he and she. It's used every day. But people also go by they and them pronouns and ze and he pronouns. Yet, just because a person may choose to present androgynously or wear clothes stereotypically of the opposite gender, doesn't mean that they have to reject their birth sex. Choosing not to identify is equally valid. And, you know, within ourselves, we just have to find what's right for us. By expressing yourself in whichever way you feel is in some way helping to change the world. In the end, it's all about feeling comfortable within yourself. Finding the path that's right for you and traveling down it however long that might take you to discover. In the future, I wonder if it will be appropriate for the shop assistant to ask questions about my gender when I make my purchase. Maybe it'll just be a shirt, not needing to be, de be defined by any gender. Thank you. <laughs>